everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We are back in Manhattan. I'm in my apartment. I love my apartment so much. It is my safe space. I'm so happy to be back. Um, we're here for about 48 hours. I got back from Montauk um, around 9.30 last night. And tomorrow, Brooke and I are going on a revolve around the world trip, which is really exciting. I've been on one other revolve trip about three years ago. I went to their Quimala, Mexico trip, and it was absolutely so amazing. Um, and I'm so excited to be doing another trip with them. We are going to the Dominican Republic, and there's such a fun itinerary, and a ton of our YouTube friends are going, which is cool. YouTube unite, baby. So excited. So today's Monday. We're going tomorrow, Tuesday, and we come back on Saturday. So I have a lot to get done today. We were supposed to be checking out of the Montauk house this morning and then going to surf camp actually for Cynthia Rally, but we couldn't make it all happen. Um, so we left last night and Katie like finished the checkout this morning. We basically like cleaned the whole house. So she all, all she had to do was like do the lock and like load the dishwasher. So she should be in good hands. Um, I'm sad to miss that, but I am so, so excited to go on this trip and there's lots I want to get done today and I'm just happy to be in the city so I just thought it'd be fun to do a whole vlog because I love watching people prep for travel um, and just vlogs in general and I'm back in the city so well, I don't have any groceries because I've been gone so I'm headed to Paws Cafe it's one of my favorite places here in the Lower East Side and I'm gonna grab a little breakfast sandwich with some avocado um, and then I'm gonna go get my nails done with Mickey. I'm so excited. Um, one of my nails broke when I was cutting a watermelon last week. So, not from the knife, but like, cause for other reasons, I can't remember why. But that's what happened. So, we're doing nails today. I've been wanting to do the Haley Chrome, uh, Haley Chrome, Haley Bieber Chrome nails. Of course, like, in the past two weeks, everyone and their mother has done it, but I've had it saved on my phone for a while. So, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like her specific, like the glazed donut light pink, chrome look or I wanted to do like it in a neon yellow version because I'm just loving neons for summer so updates to come so we're gonna head to the nail salon and then we have a lot more we're doing we're touring an apartment today I'll fill you guys in more on that later because we've got to go here's my little fit for the day it's from recreational habits I love this skirt and then I'm wearing the sweatshirt too because sometimes I get cold in the nail salon and then my bodysuit is from Spanx and then I'm just wearing these because I don't feel like putting on sneakers and then we're gonna use this green tote bag because it might rain so I need to throw an umbrella in but I thought the green kind of tied it all in nicely but yeah let's go get some breakfast let's go get our nails done and I'll catch up with you guys soon I just got my nails done. Brooke's giving hers now. So Amazing good. Mickey. She's so cute. She's the best. What color are you doing? We're Maybe doing like a... Pink, but it's we actually have... warm. Oh, is it this one? No, I think it was... Uh, yes. Ooh. so many colors. Ooh, okay. I'm excited. I've yes, that'll before, be good. So, so that'll be so good. So the gals are running lots of errands today. I'm about to head out. But guys, I did the glazed donut nails. I am so obsessed. I asked Mickey, I was like, should I do yellow chrome or like the Hailey Bieber? And she was like, yeah, Hailey Bieber. And it's so gorgeous. We did like a milky pink and then like this chrome over top. Go do it. I feel so like pretty. <laughs> I really can't get enough of these nails. It seriously looks so stunning. Um, I just, well last night before I went to bed, I was so excited. I opened a ton of PR. The summer I turned pretty. Yep, you saw that right. It was a whole little package from Moroccan Oil. Um, Eli Rallo, also known as The Jar, she came out with a line with every jewels. Love this planless Saturday tote and then recreational habits. Obviously, they sent me some stuff um, So I'm gonna go through these and like post some stories to you know shout out Eli's line and everything like that um, I literally haven't even unpacked like I haven't even we're both trying to say I haven't even unzipped the suitcase like that's where we're at right now so <laughs> That's gonna be fun um, But yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna try on a ton of the outfits that I got from Revolve for the trip because I want to make sure I like them. I mean, I'm sure I will, but I just want to see what I like best, what fits the best, you know, if I want to bring any other Revolve pieces that I have already because I am obsessed with Revolve. Um, and yeah, then I have like a call at 1.15 
and then I'm getting a haircut actually because I was supposed to get my hair colored and cut this week with my girl Mads but um, she doesn't work on Mondays and I had to reschedule because of Revolve but my hair like my dead end my dead ends are out of this world and I just like haven't felt amazing with my hair down recently just because it's like bleh. so I think I'm just gonna have them like I kind of want to get like a blunt cut like just make it look super healthy on the bottom I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter so I'm nervous because I'm not going to her I'm going to Fox and Jane salon in Lower East Side they have multiple locations and I've heard good things about them so I'm like scared because I have like haircut trauma from when I was younger but I feel like if I communicate correctly, it'll be okay. So, and that'll be nice because I'm sure they'll blow out my hair too when I'm done. So it'll be like a blowout and a haircut all in one. Fresh hair for the Dominican Republic. And then I'm touring this apartment in the financial district. I have all these boxes that I unboxed last night when I came home, the PR I was talking about. So I need to take those. I just flattened all of them. That's what's going on. I just need to like listen to a podcast and like get down to it. I'm thinking girls gotta eat. I ended up having to step over to my computer. There was some stuff I had to do for the podcast and then my manager called me to go through some things. So I haven't done anything yet. Well, I have, but not tried on or packed or anything. Um, and then I just got the, honestly, just the sexiest text ever from Ryan. Can you do seven o'clock dinner tonight? We love that. I love that. I am just such a proponent of like, like Ryan and I have been dating for three years and it's like you still got to go on dates and stuff and he knows that's really important to me I like to be courted <laughs> um, So that was really really cute because I said to him last night I was like can we hang out tomorrow night because I'm leaving you know early Tuesday morning and he was like Yeah, of course like we'll do a date or something But like I thought he would just like saying that like oh, we'll just hang out on the couch for a little bit But he made us reservations at Mamo tonight in Soho, which is literally one of my favorite restaurants in New York It's Italian. It's in Soho. It's gorgeous. It's just he was like and he just called me, he goes, all right, it's booked, seven o'clock tonight, or I think 7.30, um, we're dressing up. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I totally have to pack and stuff, but like, I am I have to do this. Like, that sounds amazing and so sweet. So I just had to share that with you guys. Okay, now we listen to podcasts and we pack and we work and we try on clothes. Okay, this dress is so cute. I'll link it below. Also, go follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, because... By the time you guys are watching this, I'm already there, posting, chilling, and all the things. So you get to see which outfits I decided to wear there, which is so crazy. Time travel. But yeah, I really, really like this dress. I have to look on the website if I tied this correctly. It might be like halter, but there were like three straps to work with, so I'm not sure. Also, a moment for how tan I am. Wow. Um, but yeah, love this. A green midi. How could you hate it? Oh my gosh, this dress is stunning. So it's basically like just, you know, your typical white dress, but I love how there's cutouts here. It's just like a fun little take on a white dress. I think I'm definitely gonna bring this with me because it's just so perfect. They said bring like flowy clothing. They also suggested white clothing because it's so hot. So I'm definitely gonna bring it, but also I kinda wanna wear this to dinner tonight for this cute little date night in the summer dress. Oh, I feel so pretty like I just with my little nails and this is so fun Okay, Revolve actually just sent me this out of the blue. It must be like a new line that they're having. It's called Ananata Yeah, Ananata Love this. It's like a beautiful just easy summery linen material. Oh wait, I probably should have Crisscrossed those I assume that's what that was for but I love the back the halter I love how flowy it fits really really well so I think I'm gonna bring this too because it's just so light and easy, like perfect for walking around the town one day with some sandals. I actually also got these sandals. I think one of my new favorite shoe brands is Ray the Label because those other tan shoes that I have from them, I really like the like heels that I've been wearing. I really like, but these are great too. With, like a little white bag. Okay, I'm so happy I picked this dress out. Like the bottom is so fun. Some little heels, I, I, I love it, it's so cute. All right, I think I'm obsessed with this outfit. I picked out this beautiful midi skirt. It's like this light yellow color. I love this little situation happening at the waist. And then I picked out this top, which is super cute. I'll link everything that I'm showing today down below, by the way. I wanna remember to do that so you guys can Shop this stuff yourself if you desire, but I think this is definitely my outfits for one of the days because it's just really, really cute. Again, something else that I really enjoy wearing. Actually, me and Katie were talking about it in Montauk. So we have similar body types. We both love wearing like 
long skirts, long pants, and then like crop tops because we like prefer to like show off this part of our body. Um, it was just like an interesting conversation to have and I was like, that's so true. Like I really tend to like flock towards that because I just feel good in it, so yeah. All right, I'm holding this because living alone problem. <laughs> I can't button this myself, but this is so beautiful for one of the dinners one night. I mean, it's so flattering. I don't even, I'm curious which brand this is. I wonder, I almost want to say it's super down, which would make sense because I love super down stuff. But pretend this is a halter, pink. I mean, we love it. Okay, this dress is a total win. Love this. Again, the cutout in the waist area I really, really like. It's like a higher slit, which sometimes I don't love, but I'm actually liking this, which is nice. You can show a little leg. You guys know I'm into the green. There's actually like little shoulder pads in this, which I think is stunning. Oh, you're coming to the DR with me dress. Okay, this top is seriously so gorgeous. Um, again, haven't been able to zip it up because I just can't reach it. But, love this, totally bringing this. This is the brand LPA. And then I think I'm gonna pair it with these shorts. Like again, just like walking around the town. Um, I think would be really cute or just like any of the daytime activities. I am the worst. I totally need to pull up the itinerary. They sent us a full itinerary and I was so excited because I love an itinerary. Um, so I need to like look at that and make sure my outfits are matching what we're doing. Um, but I think like this is just so cute. I could also wear this with that yellow midi skirt that I was showing you guys earlier. Um, but it's so flattering. Wow, like the puffy sleeves, hello. Okay guys, I just tried this on and I'm obsessed. It's a really, really cute swimsuit. I think this is so perfect. I would have to wear it when I'm like not planning on getting intense tan lines, but I think it's so cute. You could even just put on some like white linen pants with it. It would be very fun. Okay guys, I also have this one, which is so cute. I love the cut on it. The color is so fun. Makes you look extra tan, definitely bringing this. Guys, it's thundering out right now. It hasn't started raining yet, but I love a summer thunder shower. Like, it's totally about to rain, but it's just so cozy in here right now. Oh my gosh, why don't I have a candle lit? That's so unlike me. Things are going well so far. I paused the trying on because I'm about to hop on a Zoom call. But so far, those are the yeses. That's a tote bag full of all my purses. About to try on some other dresses as well. And I have all this fun jewelry from ALV Jewels. That's where this bracelet I'm wearing is from right now. I love these. These are this pearl situation is very in right now. And I'm definitely leaning into it. I mean, this little DC necklace, so cute. Just got some packages. I literally didn't order anything from base and I'm so excited. I have a feeling this might be from Revolve because they like sell base. Um, Ryan is just being the sweetest angel today. I mean, he always is a sweet angel, but he literally just came over to help me bring up those packages in between like meetings. So sweet, don't settle. I am so deeply confused, but so excited. Um, Nespresso just, just sent me a full on brand new Virtuo machine, which I am so, what else is in here? Shut up, is this to make like iced lattes? Oh, wait, this is so, the cubes, wait. Wait, is this to make coffee ice cubes, I bet? We're also including coffee capsules meant to be iced, so you can expect obsession-worthy iced coffee in minutes. Oh my god, this is so personal. We hope you find our iced coffees as delicious as we do. Should that be the case, might it be time to update your YouTube followers, all 540,000 of them with a new iced coffee recipe? This is so cute. Wait, I'm fully gonna make coffee ice cubes make iced coffee. Wait, this is so sweet. Okay, I didn't intend for this vlog to be like, watch me open PR, but wow, a lot of things have come in today and I thought it'd be fun to unbox them with you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, but we're doing lots more today. Anyways, it's a base suitcase and it feels like there's stuff in here. I'm unsure, but this is so gorgeous. I haven't, as you guys know, I haven't started packing yet. And this suitcase is so perfect and so cute. And I feel like it's the perfect size for this trip. I might need to bring like a duffel or something. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's another suitcase in here, I'm so serious. Oh my gosh. Well, if I can't fit everything into this one, I can be that girl that brings two suitcases. And when they're matching, that's such a vibe. I didn't even know they had this gray color. Wait, this is... 
This is, oh my God, there's, there's definitely stuff in here too. Oh my gosh, all right. It's a box inside of a box inside of a box. Let's, oh wait, that's the extender. Oh, I love when suitcases have extenders. Oh my, oh my, the way I almost bought this. Oh, it's the beach bag. I'm literally so excited. I literally almost bought this on Revolve because I just came out with this beach toe and you guys know how obsessed I am with this color. This is the color I almost got my nails today. It's the new base tote bag. This is so, I'm so excited, oh my gosh. The inside has like all these different compartments. Okay, I'm gonna link this below for you guys because I know that they have it on Revolve and you guys can, oh my God, there's like a zipper come up. This is so perfect and I love when beach bags or pool bags, whatever you wanna call it, are structured. I mean, this is good for travel. Like maybe I'll just bring this to the airport, you know? And there's, there's literally more in here. I'm literally not making this up. Oh my gosh. I also saw this on their website. This is the the Terry cosmetic bag, which is so cute. You could like put your products in here and put it in the tote bag or just use this for makeup, for travel. That color I'm seriously obsessed with. And then I swear, if this is the Weekender duffel, I have wanted this for so long, but I, I keep like putting it in my shopping cart and then taking it out. I also just got my nails done. Let me not break them now. Okay, maybe what I'll do then is I'll bring the big suitcase and put this on top because I've seen in the Instagram ads that this Oh wait, no. Wait, yes, this fits through the um, suitcase thing. You just put this on your suit and then it sits on top so I can put like my shoes and stuff in here. Might be the vibe. Oh my gosh. Wow, I have, this is gonna be great for my move too because I'll just have so many suitcases. Base and Revolve, thank you so much. Wow, sorry little red or big red, the suitcase. It's time to do this. I think I'm gonna do this suitcase with this on top and use this as my carry-on. Well, I guess I'd be bringing this on too. I don't really wanna check this, right? Yeah, no. All right, I'm about to go drop something off at Brooke's apartment. She left some stuff in Montauk. And then we're gonna go to Fox and Jane, get my hair done, and then the apartment tour. I fear there is still thunder. So it's only a 10 minute walk, so I got this, but yeah. Let's go. I'm excited to see this apartment. Just finished the tour. We have so much to talk about, you guys. I walked to South Street Seaport, which is one of the draws I have to fight eye because I love the seaport. I love being by the water. I come here a lot. So I thought I'd come here and sit and think for a little bit. I, after I toured the apartment, I walked around the area. Basically, it was amazing. Like, amazing. The lighting wasn't amazing there today. Granted, it's been raining all day, it's cloudy but the floors are black, so I just worry with lighting, but they said I could paint the walls white, and I'd be bringing in a lot of light furniture and I could get rugs, so like the black floors, floors aren't too, you know, doesn't make the place dark. And Mackenzie said when she toured it last time, like a week ago, it was like a beautiful sunny day and it looked amazing, cause like lighting is just really important to me. I'm just having to sit with my thoughts here, so I'm doing what I do best and going to the water to think about it. a cup of coffee I need some real energy now I was wondering when the crash would hit today cuz I've been like go 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 um, cuz I also on my way back picked up my prescription at CVS just my birth control um, for makeup I actually just did um, super goop glow screen but the golden hour one that has a little bit more tint and then I used a bare minerals concealer for like you know, problem areas, redness, and then I just kind of like blended it throughout my face. And then I used Tarte Shape Tape under eye concealer, Morphe blush, the Makeup by Mario like new face skin enhancer bronzer thing. I really like it. And that's it. I just have my lashes lifted and tinted. Um, but I did want to shout out this company I found called Dossier. 
I think it's pronounced because I'm almost done with my Baccarat Rouge, which the stuff smells amazing. Like there is a reason it's so popular. Um, they have perfumes that are kind of inspired by designer scents. Um, so it's way more affordable, not sponsored. I just found it, I saw an Instagram ad. This one's called Ambery Saffron and this one's supposed to mimic the scent of Baccarat Rouge. And so I just sprayed it on and it definitely smells like basically identical, which is nice. My only question is, I'm still trying to tell if it like lingers, like Baccarat Rouge lingers because if I wear it hours later people will be like, wow, you smell so good, what is that? And I haven't had that yet with this one. So I'm like waiting for someone to tell me I smell good and I'll be like, okay, it's confirmed. But I'm like actually disgusted at my apartment right now. Like this is not great, but I really just am wanting to go on this date and like chill and hang out with Ryan before I leave. And uh, then I'll come back and just put my hair up and we get to work and then I'll go to bed. So this is my little outfit. I'm wearing this dress. I told you guys I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm wearing, these are the shoes I was talking about earlier. These shoes from Ray the Label. I'll link them below because I've just been wearing them so much. They're a perfect little like gives you height. But also, you know, they're comfortable to walk in. So that's the fit. I'll see you guys after dinner. Back from dinner it was delicious and we ended up walking back which was a really nice walk i wish i wasn't wearing those shoes i can walk in them so like obviously that's fine but it was like a 35 minute walk and it is just so hot in the city right now but now we're back and i just made a tiktok or i made a tiktok on my way out just saying like me leaving my apartment looked put together but my apartment's a literal tornado because that's me right now like oh, i'm off to dinner like but this is just happening back home so, here's a little before. I I don't know. I think I'm going to give myself some grace and just like fold all this stuff neatly and then deal with this when I get back because that's just like a lot of clothing. And this is like unpacking from the Hamptons. These suitcases are still right here. I It's already like 9 something and I'd like to go to bed at a decent hour because I'm waking up at like 6 tomorrow morning to go to the airport. Um, and I want to make sure I'm well rested. So, this is basically everything that I'm putting in my suitcase. I'm really hope I'm bringing enough. Like, like I'll throw, probably throw a couple more like dresses in here and stuff just so I have options. But yeah, I need to pack my carry-on bag, which is gonna be this cute thing. Wish me luck. I'm gonna take off my makeup, put my hair up, and uh, the next time I vlog, hopefully they'll be looking a lot better in here. All right, update. It's a lot cleaner over here. I basically just put everything back in the suitcase, but that works for now. Suitcase is packed. I've got my dresses, got my sets, and then I have my tops. Oh, I have sets and, no, no, no. Dresses and sets, skirts, pants, shorts, whatever, and then tops over here. Couple workout stuff, like just comfy athleisure basically, and then like bathing suit cover-ups, a couple hats and like a t-shirt and then all my bathing suits and then my underwear and all that. These are the shoes I'm gonna bring minus the Nike Air Forces I'm gonna wear on the plane. These are for the merengue classes. I said bring strappy heels and I just think these will be cute for the whole trip. Javianas, of course. Oh my God, I'm bringing lots of Ray the Label. I'm really liking their shoes right now. Ray the Label sandals and then these that I wore tonight that I just can't get enough of. And then all my jewelry. These are the bags I'm bringing. I love this Dodd bag because it actually fits my camera, which is really nice, and it goes with a lot of the outfits I'm bringing. This one from Bob Orr Collection, this Fendi bag I'm renting from Vivrell, and then my Bottega Green, of course. And then I just texted Brooke, and she's bringing a hair like waver and a curling iron. So I was like, okay, I'll bring the air wrap and the flat iron, just to kind of, you know. Speed it all up. I feel like I should bring the um, blow dry attachment for this though, in case we like go swimming and then we have to get ready that night. I think that's a move. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see how much all of this will fit into here. And if not, I feel like I'm gonna have to go into the weekender, which I did say I was going to, but if I could get everything into here, that would be nice. Let's see what happens. Wow, we did it. We really did it. I'm so impressed with myself. I was actually able to fit everything in the bigger suitcase. 
without having to use the weekender bag. So that's exciting. Zip that side up. All I have to do is the good old toiletry bag right there and then we'll pop it closed tomorrow. So that's exciting. I just packed my carry-on bag as well. I'm gonna use this base bag. Um, this I also is from base. Um, it's amazing for like organizing all your stuff. I put like my supplements on one side and then tech stuff on the other. I have checked if my passport is in this bag like 10,000 times. Comment down below if you guys do this. Um, but yeah, this is just like a bag of random stuff. More deodorant in here just in case. Um, a claw clip. You know, lip balm, hand sanitizer. All the things. And then that'll get handled when I'm back <laughs> to the airport tomorrow. I'm going to wear this boys lie sweat set with my sneakers and yeah i'm good to go that really didn't take that long there is just i would get so nervous but it's just something about when the sun goes down if you know you know it's just so easy and i just get everything done and i just watch the bachelorette and i get everything done so i'm excited i'm literally not stressed at all i mean why should i be but i'm just i'm feeling really really grateful today was just a very amazing day i got lots of pr which was crazy and you know the date with Ryan it was just a really really good day and it was one of those days where like every five seconds I was like wow I'm grateful this vlog was only one day but I feel like it was probably really long so I hope you guys enjoyed it my next vlog will be a Dominican Republic trip vlog which is gonna be so fun because I'm pretty sure Brooke and I are roommates so that's gonna be funny and it's just gonna be a good time so Stay tuned for that, and then I'll get back to New York and do New York City vlogs. But if you guys are new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon for our next vlog. Bye.